Palliative sedation is a medical practice that is indicated when we have to relieve a patient um, that patient is suffering in, in a tremendous way and we don't have any other way to relieve that patient. Really it's a difficult practice because it's a serious decision, the decision to sedate, to decrease the level of conscience of a patient. We are working with several other partners, researchers and clinicians of all over Europe, trying to understand better how to do well this practice in a proper way and how we can teach others to uh, practice this, this uh, medical treatment. The first step in this project is trying to understand how this practice is doing in different countries, in different settings. This is because we start uh, to evaluate the number of prospective studies that was already done in different countries. This is the task, the main task, that the Atlantis Research Group, a research group of the University of Navarra, is carrying on inside this project. Palliative sedation is the last option, is the, the only option possible in that situation. Uh, there are several conditions. The first one is that the suffering will be impossible to relieve by other measures in, in a concrete time. The decision-making process should preferably include the patient and the clinical team. The latter should include a multidisciplinary evaluation and the judgment of a specialist in palliative care. Regarding the patient, it is convenient to talk with him about palliative sedation through disease. This would ensure that the patient's preferences are respected in the event that at some point he is not able to decide for himself. As for the family, it may be present in the decision-making process, although the patient preferences will be guiding the decision to administer palliative sedation. Palliative sedation must be proportional to the comfort of the patient. This means that the administration of medication will be guided according to the comfort that is obtained in the patient. Palliative sedation can be administered continuously or intermittently and can lead to a light or deep sedation in the patient. The studies describe the use of midazolam as the first line medication and it can usually be the only sedative administered. On the other hand, the articles also describe the use of adjuvant medications such as morphine or allopedidol to control symptoms during sedation. The integrative review shows that now studies are starting to use comfort measurement scales to assess the effect of palliative sedation. These instruments add additional information to the more commonly used assessment based on palliative sedation level and symptom control. The scales available to use patient comfort are the discomfort scale dementia of Alzheimer's type and the patient comfort score. And this one is validated for palliative care patients. Apart from this case, the integrative review shows that it's very relevant to have into account the expertise of the professionals conducting the assessment. It's essential to have palliative care experts and a multidisciplinary team to assess the effects of palliative sedation. They update the information avail available about palliative sedation, providing details of which are the main symptoms which are refractory that led to use palliative sedation in these patients. Also provides information about the tools available to conduct a standardized assessment on patients and provides evidence about which are the more recommended uh, medications to conduct palliative sedation. <laughs>